That's right, run. <laughs> We're gonna just take it. All right, guys. So some of you may remember, uh, Kyle Rittenhouse just a week ago broke the internet with a hilarious meme uh, about gas prices in America. Okay, so some of you guys may remember the meme. Uh, it was him basically crying at the gas pump and the footage of him crying was actually the same footage uh, of him in the courthouse crying when he uh, was recalling what had happened when he unfortunately had to shoot and kill uh, two people in uh, Kenosha, right? He, he was reliving his PTSD, okay? And he tweeted this meme out of him basically having PTSD, but at the gas pump, right? Because gas prices are so damn high, along with everything else, because we've having this massive inflation under the Biden administration. So with that being said, the internet has been broken again with another hilarious tweet about gas prices. This time coming from famous rapper Ice-T, who put out this hilarious tweet <laughs> that had everybody thinking that the guy <laughs> basically got robbed at gunpoint. Instead, it was something else that we could all relate to. So let's actually uh, read about this here. Ice-T used to rob banks and jewelry stores in his youth before he became a gangster rap and Hollywood icon. But it was the original gangster who was the victim of daylight robbery earlier this week, or so fans thought. On Thursday, Ice-T posted a tweet that started out as a sober account of a recent robbery attempt at a gas station, but ended with a brilliant plot twist that had people rolling on the floor. Quote, I was robbed at a gas station in New Jersey last night. He wrote, after my hands stopped trembling, I managed to call the cops and they were quick to respond and calm me down. My money is gone. He continued, the police asked me if I knew who did it. I said, yes, it was pump number nine. <laughs> Bruh, again, something that everybody can relate to, okay? Because we're all getting robbed at the gas pump, okay? That, that's what's happening, right? That's what's happening. And it's forced robbery because you can't live, you can't travel, uh, you can't function without getting gas, right? You can't function without it. It is an essential good, right? So every time you go, yeah, you, you are getting robbed with these prices. Ice T's tweet has racked up over 130,000 retweets and 850,000 likes, turning the rap icon into a trending topic on Twitter throughout Thursday. Among those caught out by his viral joke was fellow rapper Freddie Gibbs. Man, you had me really reading this ish like, no, not ice, he replied, along with crying face emojis. Yeah, when I initially read that tweet, I definitely was like, yo, did this dude actually get robbed? I was like, damn, that's crazy. But I wouldn't be surprised considering how, you know, crime is out of control in this country right now. So I wouldn't be surprised. Of course, Ice-T's tweet uh, comes in response to soaring gas prices following Russia's invasion of Ukraine and the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic. Earlier this month, the average price for gasoline in the U.S. reached a record $4.30 per gallon with that Figure expected to rise to five dollars per gallon by Memorial Day weekend in May. Okay, so it is expected to rise to five dollars a gallon. The average price of gas and you five, bruh, five dollars a gallon. Okay, if you're working minimum wage, okay, uh, if you have to spend a gallon of gas to go to work, you've almost wasted one hour just in gas. Okay. It's it's insane. It's insane. The situation is so dire that shopping app uh, Karma announced last week that they're letting users pay for their fuel and installments at Chevron and Texaco gas stations. The price increase is also being felt in many countries around the world. All right. So here's some more reactions to this man's tweet. <laughs> Regular pretty up. I'm just looking. Thanks. <laughs> yep. That's exactly what you say when you go shopping for expensive stuff that you know you can't buy, right? And the uh, store employee comes up to you and asks you what you want. What, you know, do you need any help? Nah, I'm just looking, bro. Can't really afford it. Take me somewhere expensive, say less. <laughs> oh, man. Sir, can you identify the perp from these mug shots? <laughs> he had me going there for a minute. Uh, Mr. Ice-T, I thought, who the hell is brave enough to do that? But then I kept reading and had a good laugh. Yeah, I mean, that's basically all of us. Yeah, so if we go to the original tweet, and we go to the comment section, obviously the comment section is, is gold here. 
Okay, because you're going to have some people that definitely got a, a problem with this tweet, right? They're not necessarily going to like it, okay? Uh, like this person right here says, Dan Campbell, when a wealthy person makes the joke, it's not funny. You can afford to buy gas if it was $50 a gallon. F you, <laughs> right? So apparently, you know, if you're wealthy, you know, you can't complain about gas prices, right? You, you can't. Apparently, if you're wealthy. And then we have uh, Melody Cave here. Got a Ukrainian flag in the profile. So you already know what's going on here. Uh, they, they retweeted this. I paid $87 for gas today, but you know what I didn't do today? I didn't flee my home that was being invaded. I didn't grab my dogs and hurriedly pack a bag, leave everything else uh, behind. I didn't spend the night in a bomb shelter. I didn't lose every member of my family. I didn't place my trust in a stranger to keep me alive. I didn't say goodbye to the life I know and enter into a world of unpredictability. I didn't sleep in a Red Cross tent. I didn't call loved ones to say goodbye. I'll pay $87 every time because comparatively, it's a, such a small price to pay. <laughs> yeah, so there's people out there basically saying, yeah, I'm totally fine with paying astronomically high gas prices because of, you know, hey, uh, what's going on in Ukraine or whatever. Right. Nothing like a rich guy complaining about gassing up his uh, 15 vehicle. Again, you got Ukrainian flags in the profile pic. Right. So, you know, what's up. Right. You know, what's up um, with some of these people. So some people got the joke. Some people did not But that didn't say it, you know, it was not a joke is how Americans are actually feeling about Joe Biden. Right. And the fact that, hey, he's still getting uh, some very low approval ratings in March on inflation and gas prices and this is again showing up in polls here as he seems to continue to be getting dragged down by this stuff so let's read here a majority of american voters say president joe biden has made the economy worse blaming him for skyrocketing gas prices and soaring inflation according to a new poll released thursday some 53 percent of registered voters uh poll said biden has made the economy worse and a whopping 67 percent blame him for current gas prices the poll by fox news said yeah so that's <laughs> that's pretty bad Okay, 67% uh, of America is blaming Biden for gas prices. Yeah, mm, Biden's going to get hurt, right? I mean, he, it's going to be real hard to, to win in 2024 and for the Democrats to win in 2022 uh, when 67% of the country believe you're responsible for gas prices, okay? On this, the question of the economy, 22% in the poll said Biden had made it better, while 24% said the administration hasn't made much of a difference either way. The poll is the latest uh, blow to Biden, who is seeing low approval ratings across the board and was viewed by more than half of the country as weak in response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine in a separate uh, survey released Thursday by the Associated Press. Wow. The Fox News poll showed Biden getting low marks on the economy and inflation as Democrats face an uphill battle to hold on to control of Congress in this year's midterm elections. 66% disapprove of Biden's handling of inflation, while 31% approved the poll show the economy was ranked poor by 42 percent of those polled while six percent ranked it as excellent the poll show the economy was ranked good and only fair by uh 20 percent and 32 percent of those poll respectively some 67 percent of those polls said they had to cut back on spending to afford necessities while 56 percent viewed inflation as not at all under control according to the poll. Despite Biden shouldering much of the blame for the prices, 68% said uh, Russian leader Vladimir Putin invasion of Ukraine was responsible for prices according to the poll. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't necessarily know if he's completely responsible, definitely not completely responsible, uh, but you know, people realize the gas prices was going up even before this Russia-Ukraine thing. Overall, only 45% of those polled prove of Biden's uh, job performance, while 54% disapprove, according to Fox. The poll was conducted March 18th to 21 uh, and included 1,004 registered voters. The, the research was conducted under the joint direction of Beacon Research and Shaw and Company Research. It has a plus minus sampling error of 3%. So basically what this poll is saying is that people feel uh, the same way that ice T is feeling, right? About how they're getting robbed at the gas pump. Okay, that's how they feel. Yeah, so that being said, I mean, hey, uh, at this point for the Biden administration, it, it looks like things are only going to get worse when it comes to gas prices. Uh, Democrats are uh, considering, allegedly they're considering, um, you know, temporarily relieving the uh, gas tax, right? To try to relieve some uh, pain at the pump. 
We'll see what happens. But at this point, uh, this situation seems to be out of control for the Biden administration and really is a worse nightmare for them as even celebrities are feeling the pain from being hurt at the gas pump. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.